Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be sharing with you not one, not two, but three different recipes with the hero of the day being turmeric. Ah. <laughs> now, I've really got into, ever since reading about keto and just learning so much about like the body, I've really got into having a lot of anti-inflammatory foods and making a lot of anti-inflammatory recipes. So I, since going that vegan, vegetarian keto for a month, I've been following that through. Not really strictly I must say I'm reining it back in but I am focusing on eating more high fat low carb to help reduce inflammation in my body to help my overall health and to help me in future from getting any I guess chronic illnesses or diseases from having such systemic chronic inflammation over long periods of time so I thought I'd share with you three different anti-inflammatory recipes with turmeric being like the main ingredient the big kind of show of the day so let's get straight into it today now turmeric is actually really 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 well known for its potent so it's really high in anti-inflammatory properties in particular its active ingredient which is curcumin so that's what it's really well known for the potent anti-inflammatory ingredient curcumin and it can actually be taken as a supplement or in powder form which you can use in food and things like that or you can use it as a fresh like, bulb where you can just in, honestly you could chop a little bit off the bulb and just swallow it whole if you can like a capsule not too big though so you choke so you want to cut it up quite small and then just swallow a little bit and that's it's a, like a natural supplement in itself curcumin can be taken the same it can be taken in capsule or in powder form as well the thing is if you take turmeric just cut up off the bulb as well because it's high in resistant starch it acts as a prebiotic which means that it can go through your digestive system or your small intestine undigested and then it can get to your large intestine where all your bacteria your gut bacteria and your gut microbiome is and feed that good bacteria to help I guess promote more healthy bacteria in your digestive system so that's what prebiotic is it just feeds healthy gut bacteria and helps promote a healthy gut flora so turmeric's really great for that. So any foods that are high in resistant starch, such as Jerusalem artichokes, or asparagus, green bananas, you can even get white potato starch powder, which is also high in resistant starch. It's like a supplement form. And having lots of this can help really feed that good bacteria in your gut. If you do take turmeric as like the full whole plant version, so the fresh bulb version make sure you chop it up really finely and really small because it can be quite unforgiving on the throat especially at the start when you're getting used to it so you can take it with like a smoothie or just with plain water when you're swallowing it but it's also recommended that you do take it in its natural version as the, with the plant just because you can get the valuable co properties that come with it not just the anti-inflammatory but all the, the fiber resistant starch and things like that so that's why it's always good, I reckon, to take supplements, but also to take real foods as well, because you get the balance of everything, really, not just one property. But more than its anti-inflammatory properties, turmeric's also been shown to help with brain health as well. It's been shown that turmeric can actually help impact upon the growth of neurons in our brain. So I really feel that turmeric is very much a life-enhancing food. It's so, so wonderful for many different reasons. So if you find that you do suffer from a lot of pain, from inflammation in joints or just in your body, consuming turmeric may not necessarily get rid of it, but it is a wonderful step forward towards helping to reduce inflammation in your body. I wouldn't say it's the cure or the be all end all, like it, you need to really like address other areas, but turmeric is just wonderful for its anti-inflammatory properties. So consuming it really just has so many beneficial impacts on your body. So the three recipes that I'll be sharing with you today is a wellness shot. So I have shared a turmeric wellness shot in the past called a Jammu wellness shot, but this one's going to be different. This is a lemon ginger wellness turmeric shot so it actually has ginger lemon obviously but the three main things it has is ginger black pepper and turmeric and the reason why these three are so important is that ginger and black pepper help enhance your body's absorption of turmeric so without it you wouldn't absorb as much of turmeric's beneficial properties without the ginger and the pepper so combining all three really helps boost absorption of turmeric in your body so a really interesting note to remember when you do have turmeric maybe add a bit of ginger a bit of black pepper you know just skyrocket that absorption of turmeric in your body but it also has some lemon and some orange in the wellness shot just to give it a bit of sweetness because turmeric i wouldn't say is the most tastiest of foods neither is ginger or black pepper more bitter i would say so that really helps to make it taste really yum really sweet so we're gonna be making that today and we'll also be making a chai spiced turmeric smoothie which i'm so excited to have Oh, and also chai has so many beneficial and anti-inflammatory spices in it as well. So you're just getting the double boost with the turmeric and the chai spices. It's just like 
oh, perfection. <laughs> so I will just share the pre-made chai spice mix rather than going through it again. But I have made this mix in the past. So I will share it in the cards above if you guys want to check that out to learn what spices to include in the chai spice mix to then put in the turmeric smoothie bowl. Just so it gives it that extra health boost. And last but not least, we'll be making a turmeric coconut milk vegetable curry. Which, honestly, I just love anything with coconut milk in it. It makes it so creamy. Plus, you just pop everything into one pan and just let it cook. So it, it's so quick and so easy to clean up afterwards. Which is like, oh, such a must when cooking. I just, the cleaning's never my favourite part. Anywho, let's get straight into making these recipes today. To start off with, I usually peel off the stickers, the produce stickers, and actually collect them as a zero waste little idea that I've had. And I'm actually working on creating a picture of them in the near future, so it just saves them going to waste. But once you've gotten rid of the stickers and the peels, add all the ingredients to your blender, and preferably a high speed blender like a Nutribullet or another high powered blender. And you want to add in all the ingredients and blend it on high for at least 30 seconds or until all the ingredients are well combined. Once that's done, you can strain out the pulp by pouring it through a fine mesh or a nut milk bag. Once that's finished, you can pour it into your shot glasses or whatever you're serving it with and it's ready to go. Three, two, one, bottoms up. Mmm, it's so nice. At the start, it takes a while to get used to. I remember when I was first having turmeric shots and wellness shots, it took me a while to get used to the taste. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> feel that going down. But I must say, adding a bit more sweet things like orange juice and lemon to things, so much better. But I'm having a little reaction to the lemon. I think I may have added a little bit much this time around because my gosh, that was sour. <laughs> Mm, so good now if you don't want to drain the pulp out of it because you want to keep the fibrous part of it that resistant starch as well from the turmeric you don't have to do the straining at the end I just wanted to do that because I found that when I have the little chunks left into it it sticks to the side of my throat so I end up coughing I kind of do a bit of both I keep the pulp sometimes and then sometimes I'll just compost it so it's up to you what you prefer to do I thought I'd just show you so you can see the removing pulp part of it. I have some left over, so I'm gonna make myself another shot later on, probably tomorrow or tonight, later on down the track. It keeps for probably a couple of days in the fridge and then probably not so good afterwards. But that's why I like how much the serving sizes are because it only makes a little bit. So even if you do have a little bit left over, it probably makes one or two more wellness shots out of it and then it's done. So it's not like you have so much left over that you're trying to use it all up before it goes to waste. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the wellness shot. I don't know if I have any like on my face because I'm like super self-conscious that I'm going to have like an orange mo from the wellness shot because it's like down here in one go. <laughs> But I just love it. It's like a huge immunity booster in a tiny little glass and you just feel amazing like, the more you have it. So it's not like a one-time thing and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm all better. You usually tend to have it, like make it part of your routine to have really healthful boosting foods, things like that. But I love wellness shots just because, especially when you're sick, if you take a few of those over the course of the week that you may be ill, you honestly see so much improvement in how much quicker you get better. So that recipe was originally from Minimalist Baker, so I will link it in the description below if you guys wanna check it out and make it yourself later on too. I adjust the amounts myself sometimes to just make a bit more turmeric or a bit more juice or just how much, like more ginger. Just change the amounts to how much I want. Sometimes I add in other ingredients like pineapple to give it a little Bit extra sweetness but that's usually in summer when pineapples come back into season but it, that's the thing about it is that you can really mix and match whatever you like with it and it's so flexible and adjustable that you can really cater it to your own wants and needs yeah so let's go on to the next recipe i think i'm pretty much done with that i will be making a turmeric smoothie for recipe number two oh so excited so this is the chai spice turmeric smoothie bowl i'm gonna make mine really thick a bit like an ice cream but if you guys like your smoothie bowls to be more like on the runnier side you can do that too just add in less frozen fruit but i like my smoothie bowls to be thick oh so good when they're like that To start off with, you want to heat your milk up on a stovetop or in the microwave until the milk is nice and warm. Then you're going to add in your chai spice, a bit of cinnamon and turmeric. 
and you want to mix that together and let that steep for at least three minutes or more. Once that's done, I let it cool before I add it into my blender because I had frozen fruit in there. So once it cooled, I added in all the rest of the ingredients to the blender, then blended it up until nice and creamy. I actually added in a couple more bananas because I added in a little bit too much plant milk. Then I topped it with all my favourite toppings so you can choose what you like. I just used coconut flakes, cacao nibs and some cinnamon. Oh my gosh, that smoothie was amazing. Oh, I added in a couple extra bananas at the end just because I I accidentally put in too much milk. So I usually only put half of that milk in of the 250 ml only because I like mine thick, like I said at the start, that like nice cream kind of version. But I accidentally poured the whole thing in and I didn't realize it until I started blending it up and I was like, oh, it's too late now. So I added in two extra bananas. So that one was really sweet. Mwah, super nice. I had like four bananas in there to try and thicken it up. But usually I only add in half just to make it really thick. But if you like your running your smoothies, totally add in the whole thing because it's so good. That recipe is actually by Cotto Crunch. I originally found it from them and oh my gosh, so nice. I've never had anything before that was chai spiced with turmeric. So when I tried that, I was like, oh my goodness. It's like heaven in a bowl. Even my mum tried it after and she was like, wow, that's nice. And I was like, yeah. It's a winner. <laughs> it's a crowd favourite. Anyway, I thought before we move on to the last recipe of today, I thought I'd share with you about this new supplement that I've been taking. This supplement brand is called Nutri Essence. They're actually sponsoring this video today. So they gave me this supplement to try and I've been taking it for the past four weeks now. So it's just a turmeric curcumin supplement. And basically what it helps to do is it helps target and helps to remedy inflammation in the body. So I'll show you what they look like. Oh, so good. What I love about these capsules is every time we pop open the lid, you just get a big whiff of turmeric. It smells so good, it's so fresh. So these are the capsules. I take two a day. 30 minutes before eating. I usually have them first thing in the morning because I don't tend to eat until 12.30 in the day. So I usually have this in the morning and as a little supplement to take first thing. That way I know it's definitely away from food and it's just a nice immunity booster, anti-inflammatory booster for my body. So I usually have that first thing in the morning when I get up with some water. I just want to say a big thank you to Nutri Essence for sponsoring this video today. What I love about this company is that they're focused more on holistic healing, so healing through natural means rather than using toxin field, chemical field, drugs and medication, which are essential in their own right. However, I do think they're more of a last resort rather than always going to them as like, a first time thing. I always look at conventional medicine as more of like a last resort or to even use alongside natural holistic medicine and things like that. And what I love about this company is that they do, they focus on more natural remedies I guess, more natural products. And the thing is that because their products are natural, that they don't have any of the nasty side effects and kind of negative downsides to conventional medicine such as drugs and medication that can often give or cause negative side effects from taking them over long periods of time. So basically this is just a natural supplement, a bit of a health boost to take. I see it as a health boost anyway because I'm quite healthy already. I haven't noticed huge differences in taking the supplement but again it's only been a month. I see it as more as optimizing my health but if you do suffer with intense or severe inflammation in the body this can be so beneficial because the capsules are actually divvied up I guess portioned in the most optimal amount of turmeric that you can take a day. So you know that when you're taking these capsules you're receiving the optimal dose I guess of turmeric. Now I did ask if their supplements contain any fillers or binders because so that's one of the first things I look for when buying or look shopping for a new supplement to take because I understand that they can often contain unhealthy fillers and binders and things which I think sometimes aren't needed. So I did ask them and they said that that actually does contain one filler called MCC, microcrystalline, and it originally comes from a wood pulp. Microcrystalline is actually commonly used in many health supplements around the world, so you may also notice it in other products that you get too. They're actually working on removing this filler completely in future, so they are working towards doing that, which I thought was awesome as well. So they're not just like leaving it be, they're looking at other options to use instead of using fillers and things in their products, which I thought was really cool as well, because that's something I really look for when I shop for supplements is that does this supplement have like 
all natural ingredients so it's not got synthetics at all and does it have like no fillers, no binders and things like that or as minimum as possible. So I was really happy with this product. So this supplement actually focuses on reducing inflammation in the body like I said before because turmeric is such a potent anti-inflammatory and is so rich in antioxidants because of the curcumin in it. So it's so wonderful at targeting and helping to reduce inflammation in the body. Some of the positive side effects of reducing inflammation in the body is that you can notice a reduction in pain. So say if you have really severe joint pain muscle pain or things like that, you may notice a reduction in that. You may also notice a reduction in stress as well, stress physically and mentally as well. I've noticed that inflammation, especially over long periods of time, has severe stress on the body. Stress and inflammation is actually underlying causes of a lot of chronic diseases that we see today in our modern society. A lot of things like obesity, type 2 diabetes and things like that a lot of the time are caused by inflammation in the body. So being able to reduce and minimize inflammation is so, so important, especially as I'm reading up more and more about the body and how inflammation actually impacts that. I'm learning so much and going, oh my gosh. You may also notice better digestion in the case of IBS. For say if you have irritable bowel syndrome or you have leaky gut, they're big causes from inflammation. So it can help with digestion in that sense by helping to reduce inflammation that way. Do keep in mind that diet plays a big role in terms of digestion as well. So what you eat will have a big impact on your digestive system. So it's so important to note that while supplements can really help, it's really important that you do look at your diet as well and see what changes you can make in that. Maybe talk to a medical professional as well and see what changes you can make to help optimize and improve your health. You may also notice an improvement in your mood, again, because inflammation can also affect the brain. You may notice that helping to reduce that can also help you to feel better overall as well and increase your sense of well-being and again coming back to joints and things like that helping to reduce inflammation can help with things like arthritis pain in your joints and things like that and it won't necessarily cure it like supplements I always say are more of a, a remedy to help your body heal itself rather than looking at the supplement to heal you I always think that they just help aid the body in helping to heal itself so I wouldn't look at supplements as like the cure for rheumatoid arthritis or things like that. It's just an aid to help reduce inflammation in the body. So never look at it as like a medicine, I guess. It's not the same as drugs and medication. I always think as natural medicine is a way to help the body heal itself in its own way. So when I take supplements, I always look at it as a way to boost my own health, to help boost certain minerals that may be low in my, in my body. So help give me a boost in those to help my overall sense of well-being and my body's ability to heal itself when it needs to. So if you are thinking about taking a turmeric supplement, I do recommend them. They are really, really good because they actually just are turmeric cumin in a capsule. They are also vegan friendly, so that is a bonus when shopping for supplements. I do look for ones that are vegan too. Sometimes they may have animal products, I guess, in the capsules and things like that. But these ones are completely vegan friendly. They're also non-GMO. They have no hormones, no binders, no preservatives, no artificial ingredients, no antibiotics, no gluten, no wheat, no dairy, no soy, no sugar and no yeast. So they're an all-natural product, which is why I really resonate with this company. Anything that has like artificial ingredients in it, I'm like, mmm. Maybe not. You can actually find them on Amazon. So if you are interested in learning more, a bit more about them, learning more info on them, or if you want to try them out yourself, I will link in the description below a link to see more about the product or where you can buy it if you are interested. If you do try it, do let me know what you think. Alrighty, let's get on to our third and final recipe of this evening, which is the turmeric coconut curry. Oh, I'm so excited. This is probably my favorite of favorite turmeric recipes to make. And you know how good the last one were? So you just get ready for a treat, guys. Like, oh! <laughs> In a large pot, you want to heat two tablespoons of coconut oil over medium to low heat and then add in the garlic and let it simmer until the garlic starts to turn brown. Then add in the can of coconut milk and half a cup of filtered water. Add in one teaspoon of turmeric powder, the bay leaves, then add in the broccoli and carrots and bring to a boil for one to two minutes. Then lower the heat and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes or until the vegetables are tender. Once it's finished, take it off heat and then you can serve it with some rice. Now I used brown rice and I just boiled it until it cooked through. Then what I did with the water was I actually strained it out and kept the rice water because I'm going to use it to water my plants with because apparently it's very nutrient rich and really wonderful for plants. Oh, 
this is amazing. Oh, I love this curry. Anything with coconut, oh my gosh, has me ha at hello, like really. Mm. Makes it so creamy, like, mmm. Every mouthful is gonna be like, mmm. Mmm, it's so good. I wanna eat this, but I gotta wrap up the video. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a form of black because that's good. Mmm. Bro. Make this like every day of the week. I don't have anything in my teeth now. That concludes today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what you thought of today's video. I love making like different anti inflammatory food recipes. Chimica has just been my latest of creations. I just love using it in my recipes. I've been trying to include it more often just because of its high potent anti inflammatory properties and antioxidant properties. <laughs> so, I'll do another video in future sharing other anti inflammatory foods and how to include them in recipes and things. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Fingers crossed and I hope to see you guys all in my future videos. Good night.